It's the Dorkadir Empire. And today we're gonna look for a fight. Why are we going to look for a fight? Well, okay, I do have two minor rebellions, but I don't really care for those rebellions. I am gonna summon up some men and, and, and trounce them though, but yeah. The main thing is that as soon as I have them have these rebellions under control, I'm going to declare war on Venice in order to make them patriot. They are in the Christian defensive pact against me, which would make me be at war with many countries, among which is Aquitaine, which I want to be at war with right now because there's 33,000 troops, and it is fighting against France. France, who's currently fighting for Luxembourg, which I want him to win. He has 72%, that's a pretty good score, but for some reason he's not sieging down the weak fort, no, he's sieging down the stronger fort. And he is suffering attrition because only 12,000 men can stand here. I can't handle that amount of AI dumbness, as some of the older viewers I'm sure are aware. It, it just aggravates the whoop out of me when they do that. It's like, can't you think? I thought you were supposed to be AI, but apparently you're just dumb. It, it, it just, it just, no, just no. So, we're going to help by declaring war on Venice. And we're mainly going to just get a quick 100% war score. And then trash on, on the people that we want to trash on, which is mainly Aquatan. Now, that also means, of course, that the Byzantine Empire is going to be against us. I don't really mind it in the sense that I, I'm, I'm willing to fight them. But they're not my main focus, and I do actually kind of hope that we will have... Uh, oh, man. Have troops um, that they don't destroy all my small troops that I've put together there on the border in order to, well... Stand actually ready for when their emperor dies, which... Well, yeah, should be happening right, right about now, right? Hold on. Just let me finish this battle first. Flamboyant schemer, you can be released as well. You only have a vague lineage to a barony. Who knew? Sorry, but I'm not impressed. You can be a rocket scientist. You can be Brad Pitt. But I'm not impressed. Alright. Those things are done. I think the cities that I build in these areas are done as well. That's awesome. Let's transfer the vassalage of the two of them. Perfect. That is done. And yes, off camera I helped take out with this little rebellion. Did that. And then I usurped Kenemisa and gave it to the boy. Alright. Venice. Declare... Make tributary. The world is against me. How dare I? Well, I dare because the AI is too freaking dumb to understand how to wage war. And it's just too, too painful to watch. So. Time to cut in between a few things and take a few things out. There we go. Oh, and also troops. Send them to me. Now, as for Venice itself, I called up the Bavarian troops so I can't use those anymore. Where are the Italian troops? I... Uh, what? I called up 11,000 here and they were okay. Now they're gone? That, that's just... That's weird. Is that a new mechanic? I mean, if it's a new mechanic, awesome. I mean, it's more realistic, but... I currently missed the notes on that one. Oh... Is this e truly Egypt still? Yeah, okay. So then I should be able to summon up quite a few troops here. Alright, that should be enough to just walk over Venice. And the other troops, as said, mainly focusing on just... Clearing out... This, this is the uh, thing I'm afraid of. Uh, that's not what I need to do with you. You go for Trift. And you go for Consensus. And I knew they were because, well, there was still already a twin symbol here. That makes it kind of obvious. 
that there will be another one. Mm. Yeah, we really want to start crushing a few of these people. Deeply in love, mainly because I really, really, really want Italy to win, uh, Italy, France to win this time and not lose. And well, let's first take down these two thousand troops. Gather up a bit of an army and take down Aquitaine. Because that is the issue here. Taking down Aquitaine. 3,000 men have landed on my mm, shores. Alright. It's 6,000 of theirs. I'm waiting for the other troops to arrive first. We've been defeated? We have something here? What? We didn't have troops over there. Not by my knowledge. Where are the other ships? Oh, there. I was like, where are they? <laughs> where could they be? I do not know. Alright. Uh, uh, hold on. Yeah. 13th of June. 15th of June. 13th of June. Can we- do we have somebody that has extra movement? At siege. We can only hope we can get enough more Altics to get out of there in time. Twelfth of June. We should be out of here. It said we would be able to escape. You... You... No. That way I can also wage war, um, but then again, in the Middle Ages, you had no idea where your enemy arrived, so... Fuck it. Uh, sell it to me. We'll get a potion, and this feels good, and I gain the trade lustful. Um... They are at least sieging still, so that is the major thing why I did this war. Combine this, combine this, and land them on here so that we can at least can get 100%. Now I should start getting careful about Byzantine troops swarming around like bees all everywhere. Uh, hey, there's a fort here of Germany. Um, I won't give up. Well, this army is doomed, but I'm more into if this army can survive. Yeah, we, we knew this, this defeat was going to happen. So, Bourgogne, 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 and a few to Vienne. 900. To Vienne? To ba backwards. Okay. So, commanders over here. You need to be able to defend, hold the, the line, if you will. Apparently, I don't have that good of a commander available here. Um, but my purpose for this war has already been done. I'm slowing down Aquitaine's troops, and I am crushing a few things of that. Okay. Um, ransom prisoner, that's fine by me. We have also landed successfully in Venice. So when will you arrive? On the 22nd of July. And you will be together a ton of troops. But if I send the smaller army, you may not be deterred. No, you're still going to Bourgogne. Okay, so that we can have at least some additional troops already arriving at the battlefield, except before it's the 21st. Before we really need to act. Alright, and we have got one part already of Venice. I say this is going successfully. Now we need to put in the other army. There is the big battles. 24. We have the 2nd of August. We are going to get more troops in there. And this should be the big Kahoot. And that should destroy at least Aquitaine's armies. And then perhaps my other vassals will be also keen to strike. I hope that you can see it down. How much percentage do you have in this war right now? 64%. 
It's not like my vassals will go, woohoo, thank you for doing this, because they don't even understand that I'm actually doing this for them. They, they just don't get it. Um, am I going to... No, I'm actually not going to siege this down like crazy. Um, we'll have to wait until this battle is over, until the architect is available. Then we'll siege a little quicker in Venice. Because sieging would be good, I don't want to spend too much time on it. And this is mainly to destroy Aquatens' armies, and now they're pulling back. And that is all that I wanted from that. From this war, in a sense. Just get Aquatens and Burgundy's troops destroyed so that they can't block France. Who else is in this war? Uh, Pope Victor V and the... Oh, uh, the, the day as well. So, yeah. Can we have 22? Yes, we can. So, we can actually have everything over here. Get over here. Make it one giant stack of an army. Boom. And we want the one that was... I thought we had a seizure. An architect. We don't. I think I've gone mad. Okay, I thought I saw a seizure a moment ago, but apparently we just don't have anything of the sort. Now, 36,000 troops here. That should definitely be scary enough to... Oh, hold on. No longer Spymaster, that's fine. Defeated where? Oh, Byzantine. Tr Byzantine ah, on the other side. Oh, and also here as well. Thank you very much. Uh... 10,000. Don't know if this will be in time. Uh, this is why I didn't really want to wage this war. No. That's not wise. Just get out of there. Oh, come on. Stop with this. Okay. Look, I've done my, my duty. I've done what I wanted to do. I've done what I've wanted to do. I need to be able to speak. Now I need to quickly deal with this. It's just that there are so many enemies everywhere that you just... I, I can't have the overview of it. It's too much for me to handle, to be honest. And I hope you will forgive me that, I'm, that that is the case, but... You, get the hell out of here. Just get... Where are you fleeing to? Why are you fleeing over there? I told you to get the hell out, right? Yeah, now they're sending 50,000... Uh, Where are you coming from? Where have you been beaten? Okay, this war is last... It's costing us too many troops. Apparently we're being defeated over here as well. Look, I don't care about the whole winning of the war, to be honest, but... Okay, for, for some reason, Venice is just capable of just... ...piling on troops after troops after troops. But luckily, these are all cities, so that's why I was confident in doing this. Confident in doing this, I should say. Uh... Wow. They're everywhere. Everywhere there are troops. Why is the tech assault not all the way in Jerusalem, though? That makes no sense. I told you to get the hell out of there. These guys were fleeing. That is not fair at all. They were fleeing. I'm gonna lose so much money rebuilding these armies. I just can't keep track of everything. We were fleeing! It was not allowed to attack them while they were fleeing. This is... Big bouncy bollocks. Why? Well, thank you, except... I quit with this war. This is some first level bullshit. You are supposed to be able, if you retreat... 
you should be able to get everybody out and they cannot be attacked anymore. We've tried it as well with the enemy and all of a sudden they'll say like, yo, that rule. <laughs> no. We uh, momentarily uh, suspended that rule. W what? Like seriously, th that's not cool, buddy. Oh, we won it. And we have dealt a big blow. Well, big blow. At least we dealt a big blow to the Aqua 10 troops. And there is from now an 82%. If only they could siege these things out quick enough. And if not, I will find myself another war to, to do just to get the world against me and attack again. Uh, we will lose a t crap ton of money while we uh, replenish all our uh, retinas that were just attacked uh, just now. Bavaria really doesn't like me. Uh, right, and... Spymaster. Uh, Alania, I guess. Yeah, let's do Alania. Can we build a spy network anywhere else in the world? No, we cannot. Alright. I mean, I really don't mind they attacking us. I mean, I didn't like the Shattered Retreat rule, but make it the same for everybody. Don't have one person being capable of doing that and another person being capable of doing that. That is something I do not agree with. Oh, and we can also land these troops because we don't need them anymore. Woo! Young Faramaz has finished his education diplomacy. I notice with pride that he has nothing... Sorry, come... Has he... That he has attained nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. Kind of hard even auto-saving is right in front of it. Excellent. I didn't see his entire skill set though. What have you become? Patient and unfortunately content like your father. And that's what not something I personally enjoy as a trait. I rather see ambitious. That is something I really want, but if we give him rulership, he might get ambitious, so... And he is shrewd already. I mean, he's decently overall. He's a bit bad on Marshall, though, I have to admit. Like, really bad. Certainly compared to his father, but having shrewd and having patient is awesome. So I'm just gonna be really happy with this son. Um, Five years of not waging war. That's never gonna happen, but... Um... Let's just take it for now. You can land these troops as sent. Must have misclicked or something. Alright, stand down the boats. Do I have anywhere from anywhere else troops left? Yes, I do. Stand them down. Oh, there were these apparently. And with that. Oh. Are you still at war? No. Who's being attacked over here? Oh, you yourself have a holy war. Good luck. Buddy, you're never gonna win that. Sorry to say, but... That's just realism. What a weird number. I think some of those troops may have been destroyed. Uh, no, I actually don't think so, because this is just an increase of the amount that we already were capable of handling. Alright. Troops back in place. Venice is paying us tribute. Which means that we mm, have cornered the global trade market, though I have to say Venice is not even that large. Yeesh, that's really small, actually. This is just Venice? Wow. Venice, you are not very powerful. I am disappointed. 82%. And we beat up on Aquintan, the, the strongest opponent that he had. And we also beat him on the, uh, Grand, my, the Knight Templar, so... We should have helped out France quite a bit by doing this war. And we're just gonna have to hope that France knows what it's supposed to do right now. So what is up here? Berlin, you are attacking in the Berlin Holy War for Prussia. You're going for these two counties then, I believe. Yeah. Interesting. 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 
Alright, you captured the city, that should be really good. 99% in favor of Shah Jamusp. Jamusp? Jamusp, I'm just gonna go with. It's like a, a lot of, like a wasp, but then a Jamusp. And, uh, well, only the church left, and then he could have it. And he could have the victory, and I, and I am guaranteed positive that if we let Aquantan let his, let his troop march upwards, that he would have lost. And they're already marching troops upwards. Here, they're already amassing again, but that isn't yet enough to make me think that they won't be able to fight it off. It's about 10,000 that I see there. Oh. You are a celibate. It's like 9, They have enough to fight them if they combine well enough, but they're moving back again. And it would be so awesome if France would get Luxembourg. If only for... Ooh. Yeah, not that many good things. By the way, I got a young daughter and again a genius from the same woman. I love this woman. Um, But yeah, education of the wife of the heir. Fuzzy? Haughty and indolent. That's an annoying combo. It was good for this, but I rather would have gone that you would have gone with this, but you neither have brood nor consent and you're a haughty. It's never gonna work. So, I guess we're gonna make you into, well, I hope mm, wife and mm, husband will be feeling good together with each other. Uh, misguided warrior. Oh well. Oh well indeed. I don't really care. To be honest. All I care for is France winning this war. It is the second time they attempted, and this time I have intervened. And if they get it, they get the Duchy of Luxembourg, which is like the strongest duchies I think that is still left within the Kingdom of Lotharingia. And then if, if it just can get for some other reason for Dune, well then they suddenly can start actually doing stuff. Oh, 16,000. They're coming up. How far are you with this um, siege? How far are you with the siege? What is our attack target? What is another target we can attack? Another 10,000 over here. We... Uh, do we have a single... We don't have a single county somewhere. Um... Crap. You, can I attack you? I can't actually declare war and make you a tributary. You are not, not that that well defended. You've only got one vassal, right? Yes. Okay. If these guys get too close, get around around here, and they start moving, then I will declare war there. Well, that might be too late, actually. Oh, this is a uh, this is a scary thing. Get over here. France, bash this down! For the love of God, do it! You can win this if you just listen to me. If I call up your troops, I can support it. I can support that battle. I don't like to do this, but freaking declare the war, make a tributary. I need to do this. Simply because I need to protect from its own idiocy. It's so bloody annoying, but I have to do this. Alright, send in the troops again. Going to have to act on this. How am I going to get enough troops to sail out? Well, I actually, I, if I could borrow, re -borrow the troops from France, I can get up there pretty quick. Um... Okay, let's not make the same mistake again. And let's cover these guys away from the border. So that we don't have the same freaking issue. Because that would be a dreadful shame. And, anno and just annoying and, and bad. In a way of not managing my troops very well. Syria, can I have your troops again? Yes, you have 37,000. Please... I hope these are the fastest boats in all of the Persian Empire. Actually, what I could do is 
That's a lot closer to home. Or a lot closer to the target, I should say, not to home. Uh, Italy, do you, Italy, do you have any... What is still Italian? This is still Italian. But they won't give me any troops. That's so annoying! Listen to me, Italy! <laughs> Alright, send these up. And these 37,000... I guess you're gonna go over here or so. For now. And then we have to pay attention again really carefully over here. Um, <sighs> How are you moving? You're moving through Liège. Okay. And they're going to come and fight. 5th of September. France is holding on here. They haven't seized it yet. Oh, please arrive and do good work. I can't see this. If this goes wrong, I'm... Sh hmm, my wife. Well, hire someone to find out. September the 24th, we are arriving. Yes, France will win this battle. I think France will win this battle with the amount of troops that we just gave them. Holy heck, my wife has been unfaithful to me. Hmm. Is that my son actually mine? I'm beginning to wonder. Sure info. No, no, he is really mine. Okay, that is good. That is good. Uh, char info. Uh, my wife. I could use a wife with way more stewardship, to be honest. Uh, this is high treason. I will imprison you. Thank you. I will divorce you. Do I have another sister wife coming up? Yeah, but she's betrothed, of course. That's a little bit of a shame. But she isn't. And she is consensuous. Well, for now, I will just keep you in prison. It's a bit annoying for the diplomacy score that is lowered and thus I also have a little bit of a problem with my diplomacy, but for now it is a good thing. France already won. France already won and we are still doing this battle. Is it then the battle is it then going our way or is it going like the war score I mean? Not our way. Okay. Well. Uh, you want... Yeah, that's fine, even if you're just a run of a rebellion. Um, stand down. Move here. Cold troops here. And then the France troops can go here as well. Whoa. Cannot get all these troops on the boats anyway. Uh, by the way, I'm doing this wrong. I'm doing this wrong. Sorry. Stand down. Stand down. France is also here, of course. Of course, this is France. Um, actually. To help out my vassal. Hi. Additional troops. That should make him win for the Teutonic Order War. Alright. Good for us. Go into the sea. Let these men join you. We'll siege. And we'll quickly try- What? Oh man, this also makes no sense. This guy just turned Persian. Uh, no, this guy turned Persian. This guy turned Muslimidin. Probably because he was stuck in the Ashasin or somewhere. Where he was turned into Muslimidin. But there is no freaking Muslim around. It makes no effing sense. Strabia Swabia. This makes no sense. Sorry, folks. I'm gonna change this. 
I know that some people can call me a cheater, but this makes no effing sense that he has turned... Uh, 792-155, you're Sorry, folks, I mean... Family is completely Zoroastrian. He probably turned somewhere into the Hashasin, and... It's been an era that has been around already forever, because normally the Hashasin just disappears, as well as the Bektashi order. There is no... No Muslim... Province in the world anymore. Why would he all of a sudden change to it? Moral authority. Mo Ibadi Muslim. It's all zero. No province. Why would you turn to it? it it's not logical. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm just not gonna stand for that. That makes no sense. And it's simply because some of these members, they, they go there and then all of a sudden they go, uh, You know what? Uh, I'm gonna go and say, I'm turning towards your faith because I went to your order, which... Anyways, as he's growing older, I can see that Hushar could use some guidance in one of my experienced areas, the art of war. This is my chance to make an effort for the sake of this education, but what can I offer? I can... I can gain... Stressed... Which I lost, by the way. And I can give him Brave. Or I'll have to toughen him up. Then I... He gains Wrath. And I lose Kind. Don't see the point of that. Mm. Let's make him brave. For my son's sake. It's not like we're gonna get more land that we will be holding. So. What's happening here? No, 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 no. Stay on the ships. Phew. Okay. And there's 11,000 as well. Good. Let's make this war quick and then end the episode. It is some tributary wars in order to make sure that we can have... Uh, Bavaria then. Oh, man, they're all discontent. How, how happy are you with me? 59. Oh, wait. I mean, okay, okay. You're not too happy with me. You're not super. You're a 100. Why are you discontent with me? You're 100. Also, look at how many provinces of ours have super high uh, development booming. Many of them. That's awesome. Um, Spy Master. Could have looked here, by the way, just to... Why? I, I pointed at the screen to tell you I could look here. You can't even see my finger. Why am I pointing? Uh, all right. Special minor title, something, another commander that can be made. There we go. Go back up here. Quickly seize down these forts. I mean, they have like no defenses. We've checked that beforehand already. And then we will get a 100% war score, and then, for the sake of France, we ha- What the hell just happened? Died in battle against Albert. Until the end. Where is he battling? Where did this battle take place? Uh, leading troops in faults. Fults. That's over here somewhere, right? Fults. No, here. Franz, what are you doing here with your troops? Attacking King Rak for the crew and the Duke of the award to... You... You... Well. Shoot. The young king that we just helped on gain a lot of land. Well, he's dead. In a battle. At least we can get everybody on the council that needs to be on the council. Not even sure what title you just got. Six also for you. Six marshals for you. Apparently we just have shitty marshals all the way around. Um, well, you actually have a decent score. So you know what? Try and do this and... 
Also, wasn't he my... He was my marshal, and I know that... Oh, I put my all my council members on... Don't join... In battles. I don't know how that happened, but... Well... Fuck me, I guess. Uh, also, France is apparently now closer to me than it was before. Ah, because you're a son of my half-sister, who's been legitimized. Eey. So he's gonna get a claim to the Empire, and then he's gonna want it, and... Oh, dear. Trouble brewing ahead. Well, that's... 89% of this war. Also because we captured somebody, probably. We didn't capture D-Air, did we? Actually, we did. I'm okay with that. I don't need the money, it's just a duke. He's not gonna pay too much for his son. Let's just finish up this war. Be done with it. Be happy that France got Luxembourg. We will take a look at that. Enjoy all fresh new lands that Luxembourg got, and feel sorry that the fact that he died on battle only a f like a month later or so, if not even shorter, uh, gains the train stubborn. Please don't. Stubborn is not a good trait. He will not have peace. Okay then, then we will start in sieging this down. As you wish. It's 99%, I'm here with 27,000 men. And he's like, nah. I can handle this. Still 99% because there is like, yeah, he is. Because there was no battle, but there's a 25,000 sized army over here. There we go, and we've won. Empire is safe. This time we didn't get our asses smashed by the Byzantine Empire. And now we're gonna hope that the next time we are around here that we can actually attack the bloody Byzantine Empire. It's been too long, and we're really looking forward to it. We want Transylvania. Could we have Transylvania, please? Well... But that is for next episode. Look at that lovely Luxembourg. I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty. <laughs>